Good evening, I'm meteorologist Bo Dotson. It's March 30th, 2017. It's about 6.15 in the evening. Let's just take a quick look here at radar. We've had this line of thunderstorms that developed in Missouri pretty much on schedule. What we did not have today was enough wind shear and energy to really perk these storms up to become severe. And part of that was because of a large thunderstorm complex too, actually, along the Gulf of Mexico, and that cut off some of the moisture return up the Mississippi Delta. Some of the dew points today in West Kentucky when the storms rolled through were in the lower to middle 50s. If you ever listen to me, you know 58 and above into the 60s, usually what we look for se for severe weather. We did not have that today. Dew points were lower for the most part. Enough energy, however, to create some thunderstorms. We've had quite a few reports of pea to dime size hail, occasionally the storms perk up a little bit and the hail is a little larger. Let's just zoom around here and again it's about 615 or so. Here's these thunderstorms moving into Owensboro. Now there's several here that have produced hail. Matter of fact enough hail to cover the ground over parts of Princeton uh, a little bit ago. And you can see these bright colors, these red returns, even some pinks. That's where the hail is located. We see a couple other storms formed east of Paducah over the last 20 to 30 minutes. These have been popping up uh, randomly over the area behind this main line. The main line is just that, the main line. Move south a little bit. We'll take a look at Trigg County, the LBL area. Moving into Hopkinsville shortly, a band of thunderstorms. This storm right here uh, moved through southwest Callaway County into Trigg County. P to dime size hail reported with it, and it's still pretty strong. You see the, uh, the reds there and some pink. There is some hail in there move a little bit further south and we see what's coming into the Hopkinsville area over the next 30 minutes to an hour these cells down here cannot promise you we won't have a couple more severe thunderstorm warnings we have had a few severe thunderstorm warnings this afternoon most of the storms however have remained below severe levels now as we move into tonight this rain will come to an end tomorrow the wraparound from this big area of low pressure moving to our north and northeast Wrap around, we could have some showers in the morning, cold air aloft, fairly low to the ground. We could even have some pea-sized hail, uh, maybe a little larger than that tomorrow. If we do fire some showers up, a little bit of convection in there, easily get some pea-sized hail, not anticipating severe weather tomorrow. That all moves out as we move through the day, Friday night, Saturday, Saturday, pick day of the weekend, Saturday night, no rain anticipated. Uh, as we move into Sunday, the models do show maybe a 20-30% chance of some uh, rain. I think at this time, subject, subject to adjustments, at this time it looks like Sunday should remain mostly dry. Now, as we move into Sunday night and Monday, another storm system moves in. We think the low will remain far enough south that we'll be in showers and thunderstorms, but not severe. If the low were to push further north, I'd be a little more concerned. Right now, it looks like that low will stay a little bit to our south. We'll keep an eye on that, some disagreement in the guidance. Then, as we move into Wednesday and Thursday, another system moves in. This is an active pattern. I promised you the last week of March and the first week of April would be busy, and it has been. This system on Wednesday and Thursday, it does have a little bit of a better wind field with it perhaps some stronger storms but I'm not sure about moisture return with it just yet and that's way out there Wednesday and Thursday we have plenty of time to watch it we'll keep an eye on it monitor updates but for now these storms are continuing to roll northeastward about 40 to 50 miles an hour it'll be a little while before we're completely out of this over our eastern county several more hours actually and then we have this little band forming behind it these little bands keep popping up and then they dissipate okay i'm still on the thread over on the bodotson weather facebook page uh just find the thread at the top i went ahead and extended it since there wasn't that much to report so if you want to see the comments just scroll down and i'll continue to update there and if you have any storm reports let me know let me know the size of hail compared to coins if possible all right have a nice evening